What's up everybody? This is Matt Brown and this is not an IoT hacking video. So it is Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone out there. And because it's Christmas, we're going to read the Bible. Uh, if that's not your thing, feel free to click out this video, enjoy my other content. But if you think it's not for you, maybe it is. Uh, and with that, we're going to read a passage from the Bible that I was just reading through recently uh, with my kids uh, in our Bible reading plan. And it's kind of cool because this gets brought up during Christmas time, right? So let's dig in. Uh, this is from Isaiah chapter 9, and it says, Nevertheless, there will be no more gloom for those who were in distress. A little bit of backstory when Isaiah is writing this. There's a lot of gloom. And uh, they have reason to be distressed. So if you can resonate with that, I know a lot of people in uh, today's times uh, and, and what's going on today can definitely resonate with uh, being distressed, being stressed out, and uh, not thinking that there's any hope for the future. And so just acknowledging that and uh, the people, the immediate audience of this text would, uh, would feel you there. So uh, it says, In the past he humbled the lands of Zebulon, the land of Naphtali, but in the future he will honor Galilee of the nations. That's a bit of foreshadowing for what's coming up next. Uh, the people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. So it's saying, hey, I know it's really bad, but there's some hope coming. And if we uh, go down a little bit in this passage, we can see uh, that, again, a passage that's pretty commonly read at Christmas time, if you've ever kind of interacted with Christianity a little bit, says, uh, for to us, a child is born, a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. That just means he'll, he, he's going to be in charge. Uh, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end he will reign on david's throne and over his kingdom establishing it and upholding it with justice righteousness from that time on and forever and if you're not familiar with like david and how that's relevant to this whole situation it's just here to say that uh things are not good things are not you know, just, there's a lack of righteousness, which is just like goodness in the world. And uh, God here is promising that he's going to send someone to make that right, to change that. And so uh, that's commonly a passage that we read at Christmas time. This was written 700 years approximately uh, before the birth of Jesus. And uh, funny enough, there's obviously, you know, passages in the New Testament we can read about the Christmas story, about Jesus' birth. But I, I find it interesting here to read in the book of Mark, which doesn't actually mention uh, the birth of Jesus. But the first words that we read here uh, that, that Jesus speaks in this book uh, are, are written right here in uh, verse 15 in chapter 1. But I'll read, I'll read the verse before. It said, after John was put in prison, Jesus went into Galilee. So just like Isaiah said, it's like he shows up in the place and he says, the time has come. And the people are thinking, awesome, the time has come, you know? Uh, and a lot of people at that time thought that that meant he, he was going to take political power. He was going to, you know, kick the Romans out, something like that. But uh, clearly there was something else at play. Um, he said, the kingdom of God has come near. And then he gives probably the simplest message. Uh, what's simple is not easy, but it's very simple. Uh, repent, that's not a word that's popular in 2025, uh, and believe the good news. He just says, yo, you got to stop doing all the crap that you're doing and you got to turn around and go the other way and believe what what's the what what, what do you got to believe what's the good news well that that jesus is this stuff right like 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 he's this stuff that isaiah said he's the wonderful counselor the mighty god and you might think that's that's a that's a tall order and uh but yeah that's that's what he said he he said i'm here to to bring this this kingdom 
and and he actually said like like it's here like it's come and uh you might not think that right you might look around in the world and think like wait it doesn't really seem like righteousness and justice are here right and uh this tension is one uh that i totally get and it reminds me of a song by a band that I really like. And so I'm just going to read a few of the verses here. Uh, this is uh, from the band My Epic, and the song is called Rich. And so it says, There's a country that no one's found yet. Somehow I seem to know about it. There's a melody that no one's sung yet. It's faint, but I can hear it echoing. I've never been alone, but I've never felt at home. Get that, like, tension there. Isn't it strange that everyone feels this? I, I don't know. Does everyone feel that? Or, or, or is it, you know, is, is, that, is that a Christian thing? I'm really curious uh, in the comments if, if people uh, who, who resonate th with this, they, they, they feel that tension, uh, whether or not you believe or not. Uh, just uh, just kind of interesting, right, uh, to see um, what you guys think about this. Uh, don't worry, we're going to get back to IoT hacking, but it's Christmas. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I hope you enjoyed this. Have a good day.